AdobeExchange.com is the official Adobe App Store for extensions and assets. We want to sell our first extension in the Creative Cloud section. Listed here are extensions made by end-user developers like us. To go to the submissions page, we need to go to the exchange portal through this link. Sign into the CC Exchange program with your free Adobe account. This is where we can create an extension for sale listing. Click on Create Listing. Step 1 is to fill in the title of our extension and other details. A perpetual purchase method means that buyers can use the extension forever. An exchange profile form pops up if you have not filled one yet. A fast spring registration is required to complete a profile. FastSpring is the payment gateway used to receive payment for the extension that we are selling. For the company website, it must start with HTTP. Don't worry about giving your phone number. No one will call. They will only get in touch by email. An email from FastSpring of our sign-up details is immediately received. While waiting for the FastSpring registration to be approved, we can continue with our Adobe Exchange profile. Let's select some tags associated with our extension. What you put in here can be edited later before the listing is submitted for review. At this point, it is not known how much of the price will be taken away by Adobe and FastSpring. 12 hours after signing up an email from FastSpring containing the login password is received. At the same time, a separate welcome email is received. It contains instructions to set a payment method and the company key required by our Adobe Exchange profile. Also with the email are copies of their previous emails. Let's click the login link to set our fast spring payment method. The payment method is how we will receive the money from the sale of our extension.
direct-to-bank payment is not available for Philippines. Wire transfer is expensive at $15 per transfer. The best option for Philippines is PayPal payment. For PayPal payments, a 2% fee will be charged. Let's check if the payment method has been set. With PayPal, we can start receiving payment once our Adobe Exchange sale reaches $25. Let's change the password that FastSpring set for us. FastSpring account setup is complete. If we continue to the second page of create listing form after a day has passed without reloading the page, we will not be able to submit our answers. Make sure to reload the page first before continuing. This brings us back to page 1 but our answers have been saved. Just click Save and Next. In this page, we upload the listing icon. Featured image. and preview images and videos. Images must not be more than 300 kilobytes. For videos, you can use video links to videos that have been uploaded in popular video sites. If we have logged and closed the Adobe Exchange page and would like to continue with filling up the create listing form, we can just go back to the way we came in before. And log in through the top right menu. The dashboard will show our incomplete listing in the Not Published tab, which we can edit. There's just this clicking Next button routine that we have to go through. We can now update our exchange profile with the company key that we got from FastSpring. To find our company key, log in to FastSpring. We might be asked to pass this CAPTCHA test. Let's go to our profile. The company ID is our fast spring key. After submitting the key, 
we can check it out in our Adobe Exchange profile. Page 3 of the Create Listing form are the documentation uploads. The extension manual or README file. The extension itself. In this case, we are uploading an Adobe Photoshop script extension. We can indicate if our extension is compatible with Mac and Windows. The How to Sell document is also called the Adobe Battle Card. It contains the selling points of our script. A sample Adobe Battle Card is available in the description below this video. Version numbering requires a decimal system. The last page are additional notes about our extension. How to access the script. Some notes to Adobe. And we're done. Let's preview the listing. An email from Adobe is received immediately after submission. It basically tells us that the script has been received pending approval. About two hours later, another email is received. It says that the extension was rejected. Why? Oh. We need to elaborate on how to find and install the script and how to find it in Photoshop. There is a link to the listing edit. The blue bar tells what needs to be updated. On to the next button routine again. Here is what needs to be edited. That should be quite informative enough. Now any dummy will know how to find our script. Let's check if the update was saved. Here it is. Where to find it for dummies.
submit and let's hope Adobe approves it this time. The next day, an email arrives telling that the extension was finally approved. There's a link to the edit listing screen. We can either edit, retract, maybe it means unpublish. and more. Let's download the ZXP file generated by Adobe. ZXP is an extension package that can be opened with Adobe Extension Manager. We're testing to find out where our extension package extracts to. The extension has not been verified yet. We need to research about that one. The extension manager usually extracts ZXP files to the downloads folder. This is the zip file that we have submitted to Adobe Exchange when we created the listing. All we have to do now is install the script manually. Just as we have noted in the where to find notes. Following our own instructions ensures that we have given them correctly. So here's our extension installed and found.